Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm here from my stand gamers, and welcome to the first video on the Plain Server. Now, this is something that me and the team have been working on really quite tirelessly to provide you with a really fun and exciting gameplay. We've removed some blocks, we've added some other blocks in, and as you guys can see, we've got ourselves a lovely airfield here. Now, this one has been created by RTR, and we're going to actually begin the tour. We'll jump straight into it. And they've got themselves this really cool Mustang on the deck here. You can see it's got complete with bombs, machine gun type pods. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for these merge block bombs to be dropped on some poor bugger below. Then we've got a sensor block there at the front. You're probably wondering over there, that's the Ricardo bunker. That clearly is a baitful trap to make me fly into. Very nice indeed, whoever's behind that. And you can see we've got the Red Baron type aircraft in here. Now, I know they're sneaky. Have they got anything behind this bunker? No, Ooh, they're not that sneaky. We've also got ourselves a little bit of a blaster here that just leads into absolute nothing. So it's still a bit of work left to be done on this airfield. And now, since we've just did or messed around with a few different settings, players have really got to work with all the different things they've learned over past durations or past seasons and you can see they've got a combination of rotors it looks like a stack truck down there helicopters and they've got the planes over there as well and there's really cool little bunker pods and i had a look at some of the name grids and rtr have actually named each one of these tree type bunkers after one of the team members so pretty cool idea we've got the aircraft control tower that is a little bit empty at the moment in time as we just pop in there we'll weed ourselves back down but this is what i was really excited about so we'll go over here it looks like rtr have been working on themselves a little tram totally different from planes i mean yeah you, you give them a plane server and they build a tram i mean you, you just you don't know until it happens i guess let's let's see if this thing works i'm, I'm interested so we've got our wheels off um let's turn our propellers on see if we can a lot of we're locked in Oh, 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 yeah, we need to turn the battery on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we've got ourselves a fully functioning tram on the Blade server. <laughs> oh, it's lovely what players come up with. Will it be a flying tram? I don't know. The, the end of the track is up ahead. Um, and don't worry, I've took everything into a single player world, so I'm not messing around with their creations while they're live on the server. Okay, let's actually jump over to another outpost. So first on our list is actually ARC. So we'll go over to the entity list, we'll find ARC, and we're just going to jump back and switch the sun around so it's over in this area. Now, I don't really want to give too much away around each of these bases that I visit, but of course this one is in a snowy area, and they have returned to their roots when it comes to building. Like when they built in the underworld, they built themselves this round sort of cavern, and you can see that there's some of Void's fighters here, some of the ones you saw in the trailer. They're all community-based creations, and these are the vertical takeoff landing ones. Very cool indeed. And as we go down the shaft, they've got more of these aircraft spread around. So they're, qu they're quite nimble, but at the same time, they're also quite lightly defended. So it'll be interesting what else we'll see from them. So as we enter into the bunker, they've got ramps up, ramps going down into one of their production zones. And what I noticed was pretty cool is they've got these little hover bike-type cycles that they can move around on. Still looks like they're trying to develop them, but a nice idea to see the least. Then if we drop down one more floor, it looks like they're hollowing something out here. They've got some big plans for this bunker. Maybe to store the planes, keep them sa safe from bombing runs above. Anyway, let's move to the next location. So we're going to actually go to our entity list and head to Fed. So Fed, let's just see what we could do here. There's a Fed one. So as we spawn underneath their base, we pop into their bunker now fed seem to have stuck with their old ways currently i'm not seeing too many aircraft coming out of them they've got these fighters that they've built up in this area you can see in a typical sort of plane stance but they've, they've pretty much got the same rover they've rebuilt their plunge miner from the mad max server and that's kind of servicing them getting their supplies they need you can see the drill head over in this section of course with the more um, sparsely use of pistons very cool indeed let's continue on looking through the bases so we've got up next SGC because as we know SGC will never let me be so let's add a little bit of light to their complex so this is their Cheyenne mounting complex they've got the SGC logos loving their Stargate of course let's um, have a look so you can see they're doing it again they've got a mixture of rovers that looks like it could be a plunge miner so, so we've seen some plunge miners we're also seeing some in mining helicopters they've got a bomber that looks like it's in some sort of either disrepair 
or it's trying to be completed. We've got a spare tire over there. That's a little bit worrying. And they've got a little bit of a fighter plane down here. The players are still really learning. Ooh, they've got a, a twin a twin engine Mustang looking plane there as well. So players, like I said, are still trying to learn what to actually build. Another Red Baron. Wow, we're going to have a real Red Baron fight on our hands. We've got players from all over the place building them. So there's another one. This one's got a tri-wing, just like before. And we've got a little camera up there. And where's the seat on this one? So different designs, the same aircraft. Always cool to see. More rovers being produced. We've got ourselves a little bit of a helicopter design there. You can see that they've stuck the, the propellers all over the place. It looks a bit silly, but I guess when they're limited, players will do anything they can. So we've got the lower back mountain bunker entrance. We'll actually go up to the higher hangar first. So as we come in here, we've got the first of their planes. So we've got another biplane here, this one a little bit longer with the larger wheels. We've got some sort of black stealthy looking fighter over here at the back. We've got what looks to be a tiny little attack helicopter. The thing is with these rotor blades is they can damage really quickly, they can fall apart. So if you don't have wings to hold you up or at least glide away from the situation, you're in big trouble. We've also got another one with two wings on either side there to create even more lift. Very, very cool indeed. SGC have got it definitely going on in this department anyway let's move on so back on to the entity list and over to who's next in my list is tir so as we go over to tir now we've got something quite interesting this thing on top of the hill was actually a monument on the map this was a battleship that was left out in the middle of the ocean and they've managed to get this together. And I had a quick chat to them about it. And apparently they assembled it from parts that they actually found on the battleship. So there was nothing from their base. They didn't fly anything out. They just scrapped two or three large atmospheric thrusters. And they brought it all the way back over to the base. Very cool indeed. It looks like they're extending it out. They're adding some bits to it. Maybe some interesting looking designs of engine pods. Hopefully they don't make it too heavy. Now coming down into their bunker. They've got themselves mainly focused on helicopters. It's funny, isn't it? You give them a plane server, but they build helicopters. You've got a miniature Chinook, <laughs> very cute, with a survival pod on the back there. And we've also got a little plane that's taking shape in that area as well. We've got some more micro planes. Now that is a micro plane. That's like a golf cart of planes. Coming around this area through their fiery pit, they've got themselves some rovers. So I, I feel like some players are finding it hard to shake their roots back at Mad Max, but at the same time, these rovers are going to be really useful, especially the ones that bloody stick propellers on the back, don't they? God, you leave players for 10 minutes, the next minute they come out with some crazy designs, don't they? So there we go, one of the helicopter miners I was talking about a little bit earlier. So now that we've seen TIR, let's head over to DBS. So DBS, once again, are quite far ahead in their designs. They've got a bunker full of pretty much traditional looking aircraft and we saw this one in action this looks a little bit like a russian aircraft i've seen i can't really make up my mind of which one it is but you can see this one's actually armed with bombs with cameras on the back so these are either propelled or dropped onto a target still very very cool indeed and we've also got a cool little blue mini rotor helicopter there at the back We've got another one stacked up on top of a mining drill and we've got this sort of landing gate area that is basically through a mountain really awesome and you can see they've got the landing lights there of course you've got the classic welder printer and you've got the battery room door just a few batteries in here players are really struggling with power on this server because we've changed things up once again so hopefully they'll learn to create power with their big turbine type engines using hydrogen and then store it but we'll see we'll see how it goes for them right that's that little outpost tour now there's a few little bits on the outside you can see they're extending the lower area down here i'm not too sure if they're building a helicopter you can see they've got a plunge sort of minor static one plunging into that area drilling out more stone for them and they've got a smaller hangar here in this area as well so let's go back to the admin menu now i'm going to head over to ims there's their sea base so from the look of it it looks like they're either trying to reconstruct one of the ships one of the ship monuments here and turn it into a little outpost but the main reason i wanted to come here is these guys are developing hovercrafts you can see they've got the tires on the bottom and they've got in this one this looks like a transport hovercraft with a middle bit open in the center they've got the gatling guns on the top there and they've also got this small rescue looking hovercraft so you tell players you know to build planes and so far we've seen helicopters hovercrafts and trams 
Uh, it's classic, isn't it? They've also been working on these cool little rotary-based drones I really like the idea of. You can see the seat in there. They're not quite drones. I guess they've got a seat, but micro helicopters provide a little bit of firepower. But, of course, when them blades pop, especially that top one, these guys are going to be falling to the ground fast. Well, very interesting. IMS definitely working on some sort of project here. We'll have to see how it develops. So having a look inside the NDA base, we've got ourselves this massive helicopter on the outside. I'm not sure if this is going to be a mining helicopter or a transport helicopter of some kind. They've got a few strange creations going on down here with an ore detector. Maybe like a little scout vehicle that checks out where the ores are at. And then they've got the bunker here themselves where they've been working on some... I'd say very unique aircraft, and you can say Pigeon's been here as well, because Shaq always makes a return when Pigeon's about. Well, let's, let's see some planes. It's a bloody plane server. We give you plane parts for a reason. Come on, community. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.